Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to tie a lovely, very simple river nymph that is ideal if you're someone who loves fly tying but just struggles to get the time behind the vise or you're a beginner and you're just looking for some nice simple patterns that'll get you out on the river and catching fish on your own flies then this is the one for you. Now this is a waltz worm, it's as I said great, it's simple, it was shown to me, I uh, was shown how good it is by a uh, guy in North Carolina in America, the competition angler Michael Bradley, uh, who he fished with me here in Australia, who's a member of Team Flyfish USA. Let's so we'll pop this guy out. Now, I'm tying this fly today on a size 14, sorry, a size 16, Hanak 400. And I'm tying a 3mm copper bead on there. You could use a silver bead. And you can fish it in a range of different bead sizes as well. So the thread is brown, but any sort of natural colour will work well. Tie that in. Now, first step, uh, we're actually going to use a little bit of 6x mono for a rib. So, it will uh, explain why this is helpful later on when tying. Alright, now the body for this fly is really simple. It's just hairs there like that. Um, like with all dubbings, you just would rather dub less more often. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dub you know, a nice amount there. And if it's not enough, I can go back and add more to it. Just want a nice even taper here moving forwards. This fly can imitate anything from caddis to you know, just anything buggy essentially. It could be like a little creamy mayfly in fast water. Like The point is that this fly doesn't have too much going on, which is why it's really good, because if the fish are really picky um, and they shy away, they're pressured and they shy away from hot spots and bright colours, then this is ideal. Or when the fishing's good and the fish are just happy to eat, you know, any food drifting down the current, then it's also really good. All right, so we've dubbed there. Now this is where the rib comes in. We're just going to wind our mono in the opposite direction to what we dubbed with. And the reason for this is um, when a lot of fish eat it, they can kind of pull tufts out of your hairs here and it can kind of ruin the taper of the fly. So we're just going to wind this in like so. Behind the bead. Pass that through without knocking the camera. And we'll trim that guy off there. Now, let's put a couple more turns of hairs here behind the bead. Now, you could actually, if you really wanted to, if you wanted to make it fancy and step it up, um, you could, you know, add an orange collar behind it or a pink collar. Um, the Sexy Waltz Worm is a really good pattern. That's like a pearl-ribbed Waltz Worm. Uh, I think it's got a pink collar or just any collar on it. So, you can really do whatever you like. Um, but the key is the base of the fly is simple and it's a great starting point. So... Another little bit of dubbing behind there, and then I'll just whack some half hitches and I'll add some super glue, which will finish it for me. You could whip finish, you know, whatever works for you. And there you go, super simple fly. It'll catch you a lot of fish on the rivers. As I said, it's a great beginner's pattern, or if you just don't have time to tie lots of complex flies, it'll get you out there and get you catching some fish. So, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next video.